Today we're going to take a look at how to use your microbit to detect temperature in the room. Uh, we'll be using MakeCode in order to program our microbit, and then we can go ahead and test it out. So a couple things to keep in mind when using the temperature input in MakeCode. One of the main things that we have to consider is how is the temperature actually detected. In this case, your microbit actually has a sensor that will detect the amount of temp the amount of temperature in the room, but it does detect it in Celsius. So we added a little challenge to this where we can see what the actual temperature is when the A button is pressed in Celsius. But by pushing the B button, well, we're gonna go ahead and convert that Celsius temperature into Fahrenheit. So when doing this, you can see in our flow chart here, we have three main event handlers, a forever loop, a button A press, and a button B press. When the forever loop um, is run, it's gonna detect the amount of temperature in the room. If it's greater than 27 degrees Celsius or 80 degrees Fahrenheit, we're just simply gonna see a, a string that says hot. If it's less than that, we should see cold come across the screen. By pressing the A button, we'll see what the temperature is, is in Celsius, and by pressing the B button, we'll be able to see what it is in Fahrenheit. I have a little conversion formula down at the bottom of the screen um, that you can see that Fahrenheit does equal Celsius times nine. That result is divided by five, and then we are gonna go ahead and add 32. That will convert our Celsius to Fahrenheit. So we're going to need to add basically an if-else statement for this program. If the temperature is greater than 27 degrees, we'll see hot. Otherwise, we are going to see cold. So jumping over to make code, you can see that we already have two event handlers in our program, an on start and a forever. We're going to go ahead and get rid of the on start and bring in our two additional event handlers that we're going to use later on. An on A button press as well as an on B button press and that will be for our Fahrenheit. So for our forever loop, we are gonna go ahead and use an if-else statement. So basically we're going to identify one condition, and if that condition is met, we should see the word hot scroll across the screen. Um, if it is not, we'll see the word cold. So we're gonna use two basic blocks of a show string. And with those show strings, what we want to see is either the string hot or cold. So these are gonna be the results of our condition. If our condition is true, we wanna see the word hot scroll across. And if the condition is not true, that's where we're gonna see cold. So now since we are comparing values, we're gonna look at using our logic statements. And in this case, we're gonna go ahead and use a greater than. So we'll flip our sign and we're gonna drop that into our if statement. At this point, we are saying if zero is greater than zero. Well, we know based on our flow chart that we're looking at it to be a temperature of greater than 27 degrees. So we're gonna go ahead and add our input. And we have a temperature block down here and you can see it's already telling us that this is in Celsius. And once we drop that block in, we're gonna see a little thermometer pop up on your micro bit where we can adjust the temperature in the room or in this case on our emulator. So if the temperature in Celsius is greater than 27 degrees, then we should see the word hot scroll across the screen. So right now, our temperature on our emulator is 21 degrees Celsius, so we see cold. If we go ahead and bump that up a little bit, we should see after our string finishes, the word hot scroll across the screen. Now that's great, but when we have our micro bit and our program actually downloaded it to it, how can we actually detect what the temperature is that the micro bit is reading? This is why we're gonna add our on A button and on B button press we want to be able to see what that value actually is. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my basic, and we're gonna go ahead and in this case, show a number. Now, if we hit the A button at this time, what we will see is the number zero will pop up on our emulator. That's not really what we want. We wanna know what the actual temperature is. So we're gonna go ahead and duplicate our temperature block and drop it in. Now no matter what the temperature is on the micro bit, when we hit the A button, we should see that scroll across the screen. And you can see that that's showing us 21 degrees Celsius. So how do we actually convert that to Fahrenheit? So using our formula, we're gonna use that temperature in Celsius and multiply that by nine. So we're gonna go down to a math block and grab the multiplication. Now order of operations is really important with this or you're gonna get a different result. So we have to look at doing this in the correct order. So again, we're gonna take our temperature 
and we're going to go ahead and multiply that by nine. Now we know if we go ahead and drop that into a block, a show number block, um, we're not going to get the right temperature. Uh, we can go ahead and take a look at that. So if we go ahead and drop that into a show number and we go ahead and hit the B button, we're going to go ahead and see that the result that we're getting is 189 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, we know that that's not correct. So I'm going to pull that block back out for a second. You can leave that show block there. The next part of this is after we take our degrees in uh, Celsius and multiply it by nine, we then need to take the result of that and divide that by five. So we're going to go ahead and grab another math block and we're going to grab a division. Now, when we divide that block, we're going to go ahead and divide that by five. We need to make sure we take our temperature in Celsius that's multiplied by nine and drop it into the division. That's going to follow our order of operations where the temperature will be multiplied by nine first, get the result, and then divide that by five. The last step is to then go ahead and add 32 to our result. So we'll grab another math block. In this case, we're going to grab an addition. And I, we know that we're going to go ahead and add 32 to this. And we're going to take the result from our first two blocks and drop it in that first zero. Now, we should get a result in Fahrenheit. So if we go ahead and hit the B button, we should see that we're going to get our result. And in this case, it's going to be 69.8 degrees Celsius, or Fahrenheit. Now, there is a way that we can actually round that up. And I would highly suggest doing that when on the micro bit since we have such a small screen. So before putting that show number, we're going to go back into our math drawer. And we do have a block that's rounding. And we're going to round our final result and drop that back into our show number. Now, we did have a result of 69.8 degrees Fahrenheit. We should see when the B button is pressed 70 degrees scroll across the screen. And there you go. So once we're done, we're going to make sure our program is saved. And then we can go ahead and download this to our micro bit and see how it actually works.